very good morning my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so of course as usual we have to start by showing off our results from the extreme trader forex signals group and also we are very transparent and honest with everyone about them we never hide anything and also we have to, to say that last monday and tuesday was actually a tough beginning for the signals however Wednesday onwards we actually were able to be back on our feet and we have made some recovering and we have actually made some uh, some profits um, This is the results from Monday and however, I want to show you something very interesting here uh, Please look at our losses here 30 pips of loss and one of the signals has sadly hit and stop loss Which is rare actually by the way in our signal service pound USD 10 pips of loss now Let's compare this with another signals group this is the results from another signals group and actually i have found this on the internet please compare the losses eurocad we close it with 30 pips of loss against look at that aud usd here 80 pips of loss and this one usd sell 47 pips of loss a euro usd 58 35 80 pips of loss these numbers are, in my opinion, are insane. We never allow this to happen in Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group. Uh, we tried our best to reduce the losses to the maximum and focusing on the profits to be much bigger than the losses. And that is the reason we actually able to finish almost every week in a good profit. Please pay attention. Look at that. 23 pips of loss, 14 pips of loss against 60 pips of profit. 30 pips of profit again another 30 pips of profit i mean yes that is what we are doing and some days when we are having some bad results we are actually apologizing to our members and explaining to them the reason why the signals were actually bad today and we are just telling them to be patient enough and use a proper money management so these are the results right front of you and as you can see the losses are really tiny look at that zero pips break uh, that was a break even and 50 pips of profit uh, 60 pips of profit for the pound GPY AUD CHF we closed it uh, Higher than the break even with five pips of profit Friday actually was great great day as you can see all of the signals have reached the take profit levels only cat GPY We have closed it with the tiny small five pips of loss That is something you will not find with another signal service provider that is actually what is very unique and special about Extreme Trader uh, Forex Signals Group. And actually, I'm very happy with the results, especially Friday. It was a good day and we have made really a lot of recovering for, from the losses. So if you wish to join Extreme Trader Forex Signals Group, please contact Angela. You can find her contact details in the description below this video. Contact her today and hopefully, guys, we will see you there. So now moving on to the weekly analysis and as usual we are going to start with the Euro USD. Now the Euro USD has actually kept rising exactly as I expected for the last two weeks and of course all of that happening due to the weakness of the US dollar caused by the increase of the cases of coronavirus recorded in the United States. Now actually there is so far nothing that actually can give any hints of any uh, decrease in the cases actually no that is worse. Um, the cases now in the United States are actually getting higher. Uh, last uh, 15 hours, they have recorded a 70,000 positive cases. That is the highest ever has been recorded in the United States. That is very bad for the currency. And actually, I think the Euro USD is going to continue the rise, but not for so long. Uh, in the long run, I think the Euro USD. Uh, actually, we can see that we had here a previous resistance on 1.13815 after the breakout, which has happened right here uh, last Monday, we can ex or last Tuesday, I think we can expect from the market to actually fall a little bit more down uh, for for getting some liquidity, of course, and it's gonna actually hit the same level of support number one to create another attempt of the support, which is support number two. Then from that point, the euro USD is gonna continue the rise until it hit that resistance level on 1.14885 that was the highest level have the euro usd have uh, uh, reached since 13th march actually no since february 2020 so i think uh, the pair is not gonna stop rising until it hit that level then after that we need to see any any price action indicating a breakout from the level and somehow i doubt it i mean Yes, the, we the dollar is so weak, however, it cannot uh, be weak forever. Uh, the investors somehow they are going to trust again the US dollar. 
and we need to see some reversal happening right here i think in my opinion that's why the signal this week is given for the buy at the retest uh, of that le resistance level at 1.13815 and we will keep the trade running only to hit that resistance level uh, on 1.14885 and that is going to be our take profit level because after that as i said we have to wait to see any good price action and after that actually in the midweek analysis video i'm gonna post if this is gonna be a sell or buy again signal so euro usd for the buy this week on 1.1 sorry 1.13815 13815 and the take profit level is gonna be right on that resistance level as i said on 1.14885 and of course, let me just go back to the four hour chart. Now, this is the four hour chart, my friends. And as you can see, this is the support number one. That is the broken resistance. And this is exactly, look at that. I mean, we can see that already the market on Friday night has closed with this red candle, which indicates that there is a possibility of a continuation in the bearish. That's why the signal has been given on that support level. Let me just fix this. Yes, so I put this one right here, exactly like that and the take profit level exactly at that resistance level and that is my signal for the euro usd hopefully is going to be profitable now for the usd uh, for the pound usd now actually uh, for the pound usd we can we can see actually two signals this week because uh, i don't know what did i put this one here it's not the right place that is not the right place actually the euro usd this week should be for the buy and we actually going to wait for the pound usd actually uh, on the four hour chart we can see that we had here already resistance number one and the pair on friday night has closed on resistance number two therefore we can expect from the market actually to continue the rise again for some liquidity the market uh, is gonna fall a little bit more down for the support and then it's gonna rise all the way to hit that resistance level on 1.26635 that being said uh, let's see how many pips is that for it's not uh, enough I mean like that should be better since we're having also right here a strong key support level that right here so that is the maximum the pair can fall actually to before it continue the rise anyway I think the pair is gonna continue the rise immediately to be honest with you I really doubt if the signal is gonna hit our entry on that previous support level right here and right here so I think the pound USD is going to continue the rise right away and it's going to rise all the way to hit the resistance level. Now, again, that being said, we had the safe zone. Actually, that's a lot. Uh, let me just reduce it like that to be fair enough. I mean, I don't think it's going to reach it also. Yeah, 43 pips of the safe zone. Let me just uh, draw it again like that. Yes 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 okay 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 good and for the take profit level we are going to aim that resistance level on 1.26847 that's gonna give us hopefully that's actually a lot yeah that resistance here is enough that's gonna hopefully give us 126 pips of profit so let me just mark it for you my friends you buy the pound usd at the level 1.25381 and the take profit level is gonna be 1.2662 hopefully this signal is gonna uh, work out and we are gonna see some good profits out of this signal for the AUD USD I I did a mistake here that should not be here actually actually let me tell you the reason why I did this mistake because um, the signal was supposed to be for the sell for the AUD USD and the pound USD as well the signal was supposed to be for the sell however I just don't think it's realistic at all to give the signal to wait for 90 pips for the target to reach the entry level and then we can sell uh, that's not gonna be convenient in my opinion and it's not safe at all uh, we need to go along with the market and I believe the market is gonna start the rise right away at the opening on Monday that being said uh, we are having right here a broken resistance on the AUD USD and the market has finally made the break out from that resistance level on both of 0 0.6934 and also 0 0.6942 
uh, both of these resistance zones has been breaking out finally and the market as we can see right now is retesting for two times already therefore we can expect look at that let me just show you this on friday night uh, the market has closed with the pin bar that's why i believe the market is gonna make a small fall down right here to hit that previous support level before it's uh, starting the rise now let's just mark our signals we can expect for the market to fall to another 18 pips actually let me just make it safe like that and the safe zone is gonna be until that support level so the safe zone is gonna be just like 47 pips only and the signal for the take profit is gonna be for that resistance level at 0 0.7647 so we can expect about uh, almost 100 pips from the AUD USD so usd aud usd this week for is for the buy at 0 0.69645 and the tech profit level is gonna be 0 0.70646 and let me just draw for you the safe zone where we can keep the trade running if in case it's gonna keep uh, falling below our entry level now moving to the usd cad now the USD CAD, I'm supposed to give a sell signal. However, I'm not gonna do that actually because the the pair is just like 50 pips away from entering our uh, good level for the short for the buy, and therefore this signal, as you can see, is given or I I have already prepared it. Sorry. Now we can see that we had here a strong key support level on 1.35349. And we can expect from the pair to actually fall a little bit more down to the same level of the support. And then from that point, we can start again buying the USD CAD. However, now that being said, however, as I said, the dollar is actually weak this, uh, this time. And as I said, also, we cannot expect from the pair to keep falling for a long time. Therefore, actually, I'm thinking now to change the signal, to be honest. Now I'm thinking 50 pips is a lot maybe, so it's gonna be a tough time or long time is to, a long time is to wait for the signal to reach uh, the entry point. Therefore, what I'm going to do actually is like that. I'm going to change the signal for the sell. However, uh, for the safety of our uh, uh, for everyone actually, I'm just going to change the signal for the sell of the for the usd cad i'm just looking at where i can start actually uh, start the short to be honest it's just right there it's almost there just seven pips we need to be more realistic and i think here should be fine yes right here right here the reason right here is we had here this support level that support has been breaking out by this bearish breakout candle and we can expect from the market to rise a little bit more to hit that resistance level look at that remember i'm on the four hour chart that two with uh, double wicks here representing resistance number one and we can expect from the market after uh, this uh, strong bullish momentum that the market actually might continue the rise hitting that previous resistance level and also is gonna hit the resistance trend line then from that point USD CAD is gonna continue falling now uh, yes I think this is much more convenient and actually more safe signal uh, better than the the one for the buy and exactly look at that the safe zone is gonna be actually short this week it's gonna be small I mean it's gonna be ranging only for 42 pips which is actually great better than give it for 60 pips or 50 and right here it is the safe zone and we can start shorting the USD CAD at the level 1.36049 and that is the safe zone as I said and for the tech profit level we can expect from the market to give us approximately 90 pips of profit and the tech profit level is gonna be given on that support level right here on 1.35152 so that's the signal for the USD CAD hopefully it's gonna also work very well USDGPY. Also USDGPY, I was preparing the signal for the buy. And again, I changed my mind because the pair is actually going to take some time to reach that level. Therefore, let's be more realistic. And actually, 
um, we are thinking uh, what, what, are, what I'm thinking actually is I, say, I can see that we had here a strong key support level that key support level is gonna be actually a resistance and what we can see right here is a bearish breakout candle from the support or uh, that remember that support was also on the very same level of the previous support on 107.108 and that being said of course guys remember i'm on the four hour chart let me move to the one hour chart and yes now we can see it more clear of course now we can see that this support level is gonna be actually the new resistance and the pair is gonna continue the fall now let's just mark our entries now let me just see until when yeah we can give a really good uh, long run uh, safe uh, zone gonna be for 41 pips I highly doubt that the USDGPY is going to actually break out from that resistance level. Uh, what I'm expecting is for, from the USDGPY is going to reverse on that previous support level. But however, if in case it exceeds that support level, it's definitely going to reverse right on that resistance and then going to continue the fall. The simple reason here that this resistance right here is in Fib uh, Fibonacci 61.8. Look at that. This is Fibonacci 61.8 resistance and that's why I really doubt that the pair is going to be able to break out of that level. So uh, that is the signal for the USDGPY and if in case the pair is going to continue the fall, we are going to actually uh, set this level here of the support as our take profit level. So we can look for almost uh, 100 pips profit from the USDGPY. So USDGPY this week is for the sell at 107.108 and uh, let me just draw for you the safe zone it's exactly like that and for the take profit level is gonna be on 106.070 hopefully this signal is also gonna work and bring us some really good and decent profits now moving to the USDCHF, look at that, the USDCHF on Friday has made the correction and after several attempts to break out from that support level, it immediately fall in one, from, by, in one candle on Friday. That indicates a strength from the sellers and I think the, the USDCHF is going to continue the fall. However, on Friday night, the, the pair has a closed right on the support level right here and right here the, so we can expect on monday opening for the pair to bounce a little bit and that previous resistance level is gonna continue or remain at its level as a resistance and the pair is gonna continue falling now that being said also let's mark our levels now i have moved back to the four hour chart and we can expect from the usdc shift to reverse exactly right here exactly like that on the previous support level so it might rise for another 40 pips before it start the fall i doubt it to be honest i doubt it i think we can give the signal right from that previous resistance level right here yes perfect that's perfect so it might yeah only for 15 pips and after that it's gonna continue the fall look at that i have also here prepared the signal for the buy but as i said um it's gonna be a really long way for the USDCHF to reach that level before we can start buying it. That's why I have changed my mind about the signal of the buy. So I think in the midweek analysis video, maybe we can change the signal if the pair is gonna fall as I expected. That signal for the buy on that level is gonna be active. However, that's gonna take a really long time. So let's just um, make a signal for the short and actually I'm going to select the same level as a uh, take profit level actually should be like that right here on that previous support level right here on one, uh, 0 0.93187 now that being said let me just mark our safe zone which is like that it's gonna be less for almost 54 pips and the uh, sell signal is given right now on 0 0.94048 for USDCHF and let me just draw for you the safe zone it's exactly right on that resistance I really doubt that the USDCHF is gonna be able to exceed that resistance level as well and it's gonna definitely start the fall somehow um, to be honest with you I think it's gonna start the reversing right here in the middle 
of the safe zone I think it's gonna start the reversal and it's gonna continue falling the uh, all the way to the support level let me just mark for you my friends they take profit level take profit is on 0 0.93187 hopefully this signal is also gonna make us a lot of profits now moving to the uh, gold uh, one second please now if we look at the gold we can see something very interesting if we move to the monthly chart please pay attention uh, the gold has never stopped rising in the last four months look at that every month uh, uh, we had March April June uh, uh, sorry uh, March April Ju uh, May and June all of the, uh, July actually July, yeah I was right in the beginning yes uh, and we can see the market is still rising and not even one month was closed as a, a red candle and I think the pair is gonna continue the rise all the way to hit the absolute highest price level ever on 1901 I think uh, eventually in the long run the gold is gonna reach these levels however uh, we need just to know exactly where we can start buying the gold going back to the weekly candles we can notice also that we had right here a previous resistance level on one point uh, sorry 1788.23 and the pair has already made that re the retest look at that this is the resist the, uh, the resistance that is the bullish breakout candle and right here this small tail here is actually the retest of the broken resistance again we are on the weekly candles we are now just moving s uh, slowly to the smallest time frame so from the biggest one to the smallest let's go now to the daily candles now on daily candles we can notice again that we had this resistance level which has become now the new support and I think uh, after seeing on uh, Friday night the market has closed with this long not Friday night I mean on Friday uh, candle uh, the, the market has closed as a bullish candle that indicates a continuation in the movement of the gold so yes this week the gold is gonna continue the rise now moving back to the four hour chart on the four hour chart we can notice that we had here a resistance trend line and the market has actually reversed right on that resistance trend line eventually as I said it's gonna fall a little bit more that support level is actually gonna keep its position as a support and the market is gonna hit that level and it's gonna actually reverse and continue the rise therefore gold is gonna be for the buy this week at the level uh, 1802.40 and as you can see that is our safe zone it's not gonna uh, yeah it's gonna be lasting for a long time <laughs> it has a long space because uh, we are having right here a strong support level which I highly doubt if the gold is gonna be able to break out from that support level actually let me tell you something it might be able to break out of it if uh, we had some announcement from the United States for example for example if uh, they have forced their citizens to wear the protection mask or if we had some really good news about a uh, possible vaccine for the COVID-19 yes that in, in that case I think the gold prices has, are gonna drop but until then in my opinion uh, the gold is actually gonna continue the rise the idea is we need to see some good news for the US dollar uh, we need to see some strength back to the currency without this strength the US dollar is gonna uh, uh, remain its weakness level that being said also let me just set for you the take profit level in, in case we place the buy order is gonna be also at the top of that resistance level let me go back, go back to the 4 hour chart so if the if the market is gonna reach our entry level for the buy we can keep our buy order open for the gold we can look for almost 150 pips profit of it that's gonna be the tech profit level on the resistance on 1817.94 what is that what happened man come on yeah this one right here sorry like that that's gonna be our signal for the gold this week and I really wish uh, this week is gonna be profitable for everyone I just wanted to remind everyone again uh, this analysis based on the weakness of the US dollar please keep your eyes on the market keep your eyes on the news maybe right after posting this video 
there will be some news actually that is going to be good for the currency and all of these signals will be invalid and that in that case i'm going to post another video uh, with the right signals again this is based on fundamental analysis more than technical because actually the fundamental always surpass the technical analysis uh, in my opinion so please my friends uh, forex is harder than you think you need to keep your eyes on the news you need to be aware of what's happening before you decide to enter these signals so in the end i really hope it's going to be a profitable week for everyone and in the end also um I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.